Well, all right, here's the frame. I pulled it down now. This is the other frame I have. It's the uh, Baja Warrior frame, the older style. See, I look for the older ones that have this piece all welded in there on both sides for stabilization. See, the newer ones don't have that, and they're not made with as thick as steel. The older ones are much better, just so everybody knows. And uh, I'm going to take some measurements of this. A buddy of mine is interested in this in Australia, so I'm going to see what we got here. The front end of this, from the top of the forks, I can't see what it's filming, but from the bottom to the top here is 27, to the top of the nut is 27 and a half to the ground. Now from the end of the frame to the end of the frame, I'm going to say is 42 inches. So it's 42 inches and the forks themselves is 27 and a half. So I'd have to take those forks off and maybe stick them aside of it. But I do have um, some other things to go with it. I do have two, two fenders that go with it. Um, I have a set of handlebars that go with it right here. I mean, they're just a basic set of handlebars. And um, I do have the collars for them also right here. So I have the collars for it for the handlebars. This is the net, so you just put them in here, the two collars, and then you hook your, your handlebars on there. So that's like that. I mean, to me, this could be my next build, you know? But, um, I mean, I'd be willing to sell it to you probably for 150 bucks, just like it is. The frame, the forks, the handlebars. I don't have a seat that's good but I do have the link that has all the parts to, to build this bike you know and uh, I went on Craigslist today and looked through there to see you know what people are selling them for and what they're going for how many people got them and there's a few of them you know the Baja themselves complete for 200 250 you know, some are selling for 550, some are selling for 400. So I mean, you can buy it all done, you know, and uh, but it's not done like this. This is totally different. I got, I got at least 1,200 invested in this mobile total. Um, so. There's a lot involved in this bike. and it, Someone asked me for a, a, a walk around on this, and it's actually a little, I mean, it's not sunny out, but I'm going to bring her out there and uh, do a little walk around in a minute and show everybody what it actually has. All right? So that's, that's what's going on. Pretty cool. So if you do want this, uh, you know, um, I could take the front end off and zip tie it to, you know, along it, along it and take the handlebars and zip tie that and wrap it all up in bubble wrap and plastic or whatever wrap and see what the shipping weight is now i can lift it let's see i'm gonna say the forks are the heaviest part and it's probably it's gotta weigh around 60 to 70 pounds just as it sits it's a solid frame that's why i use these old ones now if you wanted to buy one of those cheaper frames and newer frames they don't weigh as much and uh you know it uh to me it's just a little cheaper these welds are much better welds than the new ones it, you know it's real steel it's not the cheap junk but it is what it is i mean you don't have to i can keep it here and that can be my next build you know so just let me know, and uh, I hope you enjoy this walk around to the John Deere. Freaking right. Okay, it's the walk around of the uh, Baja John Deere U Dizzy bike. Hope you enjoy. The front of this is made uh, with an old antique gas tank. This actually used to be on the front, and I cut the whole front off of it and I put hinges on this 
so this is actually a glove box that opens up you just unscrew that screw and if you see I got extra belts in there but I did that so I could and I cut the hole up the top here so I could open it and see inside you know it actually works just like a real radiator I gave it the radiator look and maybe like the movie the cars look kind of cool with the double headlights and the directionals looks mint the tires are specially tires for this they're street tires they're the Kendra road and goes very nice got the shocks on the front I got the extra loud air horn it's just zip tied to it this is how I got the front attached if you see it adjustable bolts there got the wires going through you can see for the lights got this kind of neck on it with the uh, short hay hangers you know so freaking cool got to remember the flag you know luck of the Irish painted the uh, brake lever it's been to a car show see it's got its tag on it I gave it its own custom look I made this over the horn this came off an old bombardier these uh this this highway bar is actually handlebars off a 1972 Schwinn bicycle I uh I cut the whole neck off if you look underneath here you see I welded the whole neck right onto the bike and then uh so now I can remove them if I want to so that's pretty cool got a real motorcycle battery in there for the lights and directional a real uh, Harley Davidson barber tank the uh, fuel filter the nice green line there's uh, my directional switch to make it go tink 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 let's see if I can make it do it I don't know if you can hear that but Cool. So it's got the torque converter on it with a, a fairly new belt on it. I added this piece of chrome just to make it look good. I made a bracket on me and Uncle Leo for the battery. Just zip tied it in there so I can just snip them and take it out if I wanted to. My own custom, it is the chain, my own custom exhaust made by my buddy Wally goes all the way up here to a flapper you know I, I keep it right there so because when it flaps it makes a whole bunch of noise and the bike makes enough noise by itself so freaking right now it's got a brake light You've got a real John Deere tractor seat and that's what it looks like from above how's that this is from behind got a trailer hitch custom made this is made out of uh, conduit and I just uh, tack welded it all together and then I slipped it inside the frame and pinned it right here so I can just pull these pins out on each side and uh, take it right off I actually have a fender for the back but it fell off one day and I decided it looks better without it but underneath I got shocks under the seat there and I got the big spring in the front of it pretty mint got the old fake light I mean the license plate so that's pretty cool it's got disc brakes uh, yeah disc brakes drum brakes you know got this special tube here you know to put my registration in tell everybody that's the turbo you know because it kind of fits in with the bike you don't even know what's going on with it it's got the predator engine in it with my modification air cleaner there so freaking right that's what she looks like that's the whole deal so uh i hope you enjoyed that freaking shenanigans enjoy maybe if you're cool i'll swing by your shop or meet up sometime freaking right peace oh don't forget to uh, comment like subscribe check out the links below and get your dizzy swag
know, I got mine on all the time. Got my hoodie on today. It's a little cold out here. Freaking right. Peace. I thought I'd give you a uh, a grimy cold start. I don't know how I'm going to put this camera. But I'm going to set it down right here and hope you can see something. Let's see. I don't know. I can't see anything. I'm blind. But I hope you see. See how many times it takes me. Enjoyed that. Look at right.